guys welcome back to another reaction video we are here it is a new show uh we were having issues with sons of anarchy and charm so unfortunately they had to be moved to patreon exclusive shows only uh but hey we are finding shows to replace it i've decided to react to scrubs i hear it's a great show i hear it's fun build comedy ready to go and I hear that the episodes aren't really that long. I think this was like a 30-minute episode series back in the day. So um, hopefully we'll be able to knock a few of these out every time and we'll be good to go. Um, but guys, let's get into it. It is Scrubs. This is the pilot episode. It's called My First Day. Let's go. Presented by Borderlands 3. Let's make some mayhem. Out Borderlands 3. Read let's make some mayhem. <clears throat> Since I was a kid, I've been able to sleep through anything. Storms, sirens, you name it. Last night I didn't sleep. I love shows with voiceovers. <laughs> I should say that right off I the guess bat. I get a little... and if they had to do it all First day of the... years of pre-med, four years of med school, and tons of unpaid loans have made me realize one thing. Good. Could you go drop an NG tube on the patient in 234 and call the attending if the lavage is positive? I don't know, Jack. <laughs> He's like, ah, where am I going? <laughs> so this is my story. Uh, I'm supposed to be up in intensive care. Good, we just turfed him there. Look, I became a doctor because I wanted to help people. So, you know, I'm totally down with the rap music. Dude, be wider. Be wider. Chris Turk's my best friend. Here's the thing, Tupac, DMX, Dr. Dre. In most of their songs, these artists use an extremely volatile racial slur. The N word. I got it. Right. My question <laughs> is this. If we're both singing along and knowing that otherwise I would never use the word, am I allowed to say No. <laughs> See, that's good for me to know. I, I didn't know that. You can feel free to tell him or her anything. God, does not look like he wants to be there. <laughs> he looks so depressed. I just want to encourage you all to think of me as your safety net. So the surgical interns are going to go grab a beer. The medical interns are having a Pac-Man tournament. Apparently we're all 12. I love Pac-Man. Me too. I love watching it. I love playing it. I love, I love, I love all of it. <laughs> Elliot, are you medical or surgical? Medical. <laughs> Hello. Anyway, I know what you're thinking. Your butt looks like two Pringles hugging. <laughs> Hey, are we like racing? Please, I'm not that desperate. Like his, just his inner thoughts alone is <laughs> what's making this hilarious already. You ever notice how quickly some people make an impression? I'm a tool. I'm a tool. I'm a tool, tool, tool. An unbelievably annoying tool. Yeah. Aww, first day, Bambi. Yeah. Carla will take care of you. Don't look at me when we're moving somewhere. <laughs> Doctor cuts. Hi, doctor. I'm place an IV for me. We'll talk later. Carla, can I ask you a personal question? Do you spray the perfume on, or do you just fill your bathtub up with it at home and splash around in? Just poke it through his skin. Poke it through now. Time's up. Carla, would you do it for him, please? I'm also going to need an ABG. Why are you telling her? Shut up and watch. It's a little insensitive. Mistake. <laughs> Ben's 92 years old. He has full dementia. He doesn't even know we're here. He is inches from Carla's rack, and he hasn't even flinched. <laughs> what about his subconscious? Eisenhower was a sissy. Oh, and from now on, whenever I'm in the room, you're definitely not allowed to talk. Dr. Reed, you're late. I got puked on. You're off the hook if you can tell me what to look for in a uremic patient. Anyway, I'm going for it. <clears throat> Thank you. Infection? That's my girl. I knew the answer. I'm sure you did. <laughs> I was just frazzled. How could you not you be? Know what's oh, I know, yeah. Good. But thanks, if there's anything I can ever do for you, just... You could let me take you to dinner tomorrow night. Jump in. There you go. <laughs> Did you actually just page me to find out how much Tylenol to give to Mrs. Lenzner? I would <laughs> exacerbate the patients. It's regular strength Tylenol. <laughs> Here's what you do. Get her to open her mouth, take a handful, and throw it at her. Whatever <laughs> sticks, that's the correct dosage. That's modern medicine advances that keep people alive who should have died a long time ago back when they lost what made them people now your job 
is to stay sane enough so that when someone does come in that you actually can help, you're not so brain dead that you can't function for the love of God. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do you think we should be talking about this? Her? She's dead. You want some real advice? If they find out the nurses are doing your procedures for you, your ass will be kicked out of here so quick it'll make your head spin. And there it is. Have a terrific day. <laughs> <laughs> sinister smile. He's just like, have a tripping day. <laughs> I'm gonna love him. I'm gonna I'm really dead. <laughs> I just have bad gas. What are you testing me for? We need to know if your gas could be harmful to others. <laughs> He's just scared. I'm, I'm waiting for someone. Door is broke. Fifth time or so, it don't open. Maybe there's a penny stuck in there. Why a penny? I don't know. Did you stick a penny in there? <laughs> I was just making small talk. If I find a penny in there, I'm taking you down. <laughs> She's my dream girl. The necrosis and infected stool most likely indicate what, Dr. Dorian? I don't know. Sir, I have no idea. Reed, can you help him out? I'd say it's superior mesenteric insufficiency. <laughs> now just suck out the fluid with the giant needle. I think this needle's too big. I'm gonna get a nurse. Come on, man. Learn by doing. Learn by doing. Why couldn't I do that? I hated him at that moment. <laughs> okay, uh, maybe the needle was just a little too big. Oh, you think? What's going on down there? Nothing matters. My first code. See, here's how it works. Someone's heart fails, they beep everyone. The first doctor in has to run the room, tell everyone what to do, basically decide if the patient lives or dies. What am I, crazy? <laughs> you chicken. I thought we cared about each other. I'll leave. If you don't want to sleep with me, it would have been the same thing. I'll tell you one thing. The last thing in the world I want to do is sleep with you now. <laughs> Why are you here? Seems like a good kid. You're worried about being on call tonight, aren't you? Yeah. Look, worst case scenario, you kill somebody. Yeah. And that hangs over your head the rest of your life. But that is the absolute worst case scenario. Come on, Millie. Look, just have the nurses do all the stuff you're still too chicken to do, which I assume covers just about everything. And if you have a really rough admission... Call you? No. I was going to say go hide in the closet again. Hey, champ. First night on call starts soon, huh? Gosh, you must be excited. Ah! <laughs> Betcha. <laughs> oh, about Mrs. Pratt. I heard you wanted to put her on the hospital's transplant list. I just thought I'd recommend keeping her on dialysis a little while longer. Maybe we'll get lucky. No problem, sir. <laughs> <sighs> it's all you, buddy. It's all you. <laughs> Feels like lightning running through my veins. I need to see you in Mr. Bursky's room. He crashed. The attending thinks it was a pulmonary embolism. No way anyone could have caught it. Anyhow, you have to pronounce him. Why didn't anybody page me? Could you just pronounce him so I can go home? Time of death, 0200. I just wanted to help people. Yeah, I lied before, man. I'm scared every second. Really? It's a good thing they make surgical masks, because if they didn't, everyone would know that my face is like this the whole time. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I got a second wind. Wow. I'm watching you. How are you holding up? Ah, there he is, my safety net. I saw that you're still pushing to put Mrs. Pratt on the transplant list. Bad news, though, sport. She doesn't have the insurance to cover it. Yeah, but she's like a second away from total renal failure. Okay. Do you not realize that you're nothing but a large pair of scrubs to me? <laughs> For God's sake, the only reason I carry this chart around is so I can pretend to remember your damn names. <laughs> now, look. 
the patient has insurance, you treat them. If they don't, you show them the door. And if somebody dies, you get the autopsy. You get it by rounds tomorrow morning, or I'll be scratching your name off my chart. Are we clear? Answer me. Uh. I don't get it. If he's the jerk, then who's the good guy? Car accident crashed in the elevator on the way up. We gotta relieve the pressure in his chest. JD, do it. Oh God, no. Look at me. You can do this. And I believed him. Oh, look at this. You know, kind of. Come on, baby, let's go. Chop, chop. I can't get it through the floor. Well, don't be gentle. Get it in there. Normal rhythm. No <laughs> way. Hey, it's a piece of cake. It's your patient. Good. <laughs> That's enough. Sorry. <laughs> the most important thing is that I got through my first three days without looking like a complete idiot. <laughs> <I'm the man. laughs> Alright guys, that was uh, the reaction to the pilot episode of Scrubs, uh, season one, episode one, entitled My First Day, guys, I gotta tell you, uh, that, that's a, that's a, that's a funny, that was a funny pilot, um, if the rest of the episodes are anything like that, uh, I'm gonna enjoy this series immensely, uh, it was a very good pilot episode, so guys, I appreciate you, uh, sticking around, like, <laughs> this was, this was just hilarious, I love, uh, I love the doctor, was Dr. Cox, um, his, his mentorship, um, I love Dr. Cox. His, his, he's very much a smart ass, but Dr. Cox, he's very much a smart aleck, but he was in the end, even though everything he was saying to JD in the end, he, you know, he, he walked him through it, got him to relax and finally got him to do what he needed to do uh, to show him, you know, you can do this. So that was really cool. Um, ended up being like the good guy at the end, like JD, like uh, JD was asking. Um, you know, Kelso's the bad guy, then who's going to be the good guy? So that's a, that was a good, good way to flip that around and go about that. So guys, I appreciate you checking out this episode. We'll be back again with another episode. Um, Scrubs, it, like I said, this is going to be picked up on Monday. So every Monday we will have a new video for Scrubs. So, uh, I appreciate you checking this out. Have a good day. Guys, thank you very much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed the reaction, make sure you click this circle over here so that way you can subscribe. And also make sure you check out this awesome YouTuber here. They also do reactions and they are amazing. Make sure you give them support. Go over there, check out their channel, see what they have to offer. And if you like what they do, make sure you hit subscribe and continue to spread the love. Thanks so much for stopping by.